You mentioned in an interview that science is not a collection of facts, but a constant human struggle with the mysteries of nature. What was the first mystery that you can recall that hooked you, that captivated Oh, the curiosity? first mystery, that's a good one. Yeah, I remember that. What I was had it? a fever for three days. When I learned about Descartes, analytic geometry, and I found out that you can do all the construction in geometry using algebra. And I couldn't get over it. I simply couldn't get out of bed. I <laughs> so what, what kind of world does analytic geometry unlock? Well, it connects algebra with the geometry. Okay, so Descartes had the idea that um, <clears throat> geometrical construction and geometrical theorems and uh, assumptions can be articulated in the language of algebra, which means that all the proof that we did in high school in trying to prove that the three bisectors meet at one point and that, uh, okay, <laughs> all this can be proven by just shuffling around notation. Yeah, uh, that was a the traumatic connection, experience. The, the tra traumatic experience. For me, it was. I'm telling so you. So right? it's the connection between the different mathematical disciplines that they all. No, it's in between two, di two different just languages. Even, languages. Yeah. So which mathematical discipline is most beautiful? Is geometry it for you? Both are beautiful. They have uh, almost the same power. But there's a visual element to geometry. Being a, a visual, it's more transparent. But uh, once you get over to algebra, then uh, a linear equation is a straight line. This translation is easily absorbed. Okay? And um, the f to pass a tangent to a circle, uh, you know, <laughs> you have the basic theorems and you can do it with algebra. So, But uh, the transition from one to another was really, I thought that Descartes was the greatest mathematician of all times.